that's what that's what that's what I'm gonna promote you as. Absolutely. Yeah. Bay Ridge boys are gonna go. Yeah. Yo, honka donks. I think caught on too when you said it. Honka donks. I saw a couple comments. Yeah. Honka donks is funny. I gotta repost honka donks. Yeah. All right. I got that from Jesse Scatero. He calls him Honka Donks. What is, what is a Honka Donks? White guy. Just a white guy, yeah. yeah. White, honka white Donks is funny. Yeah, Honka Donks. For the whites. <laughs> ka, 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 ka. You're a jersey wearing human being. That yeah, It's just the only thing. It's where what the, it is. <laughs> it, it is what it is, and it's the only thing that makes me feel jacked. Yeah. And it's the only thing that hides my nipples, and it's the only thing where I don't have to, like, pull it down, you know? Yeah. And it's just like, like yesterday. Let's talk about the calf. All right. You ready? But this shirt makes me look kind of jacked. Jacked up. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. I Because I got, I got, I had at most an hour. Are we on now or yet? Oh, you can hear us? So we're fucking up then. No, what? Just fuck it. Yeah? Yeah, it doesn't matter. We're just talking over the beach. Let's just do it, cause we're Yeah, on. we're here. They know we're here. Yeah, Rafael DeLuca. Kyo, kill, kill, kill. Bring over Trash Monkey the Hyena. He's over here. PMTH. Where is he? Well, no, he's in the camera view. Oh, all right. He needs to stay in the AC. You want to start it off? Or you want me to start it off? Well, they're hearing us right now. Yeah, all right, I'll start it off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's up, cuzzy wuzzies, cuzzies, cuzettes? It's Christopher uh, Pseudo Tit the Stefano. Cute. And the cutie with the uh, cutie with a booty. Cutie with a booty. Yanni Pappy. Cause I got a I have I have ne- I got no butt. I you have zero butt. <laughs> I think every time you take a shit, a little bit of your butt falls off into the toilet bowl. Cause I have no energy. You don't, huh? I'm act I have actually a zero today. So I'm gonna plow through this, but I just wanna let the fans know and members of the matriarchy is this is a time where I need your love and I need you to find the kill and bring it to me. Because I can, I just have zero fucking energy. My kid has been screaming at the top of her lungs since six o'clock in the morning, and I am at an absolute zero. I've had three coughs. Wow. Yeah, I've had three coughs. I've had a, a little bit of Coca Cola. I've been trying to get the energy up. It's just not happening. You never try to borrow any power from your hair. Yeah, I could, or from my pseudo tit. Yeah, you never, you never squeeze it a few times. No, I should have. Yeah, I should have. I'm a dirty fucking asshole. Yeah, but you should definitely be able to. Uh, there should be power reserve in your hair. Yeah, because one thing about you, I mean, we say it over and over again. Saving grace, you could blow out. You become. We know it's going to happen. I mean, your burrow trash. It's in your DNA. Right. So you're going to blow out bad. You're right. going to be wearing sweatpants at a certain point just because belts don't work anymore. Yeah. But you'll always be able. To stay cute because you got fucking good hair. Yeah. Yeah, you do got good hair. And this is hairspray because I ran out of gel. Wow. Oh, yeah, that's why it looks different. It's hairspray. But do you like it like this, though? It's uh, It's a little, it's not as nice. Yeah, no, here's the thing. Your hair, it always looks like it doesn't move. It always looks good. Yeah. Yeah. I, I got a fucking, I, I ran out of hair stuff. Though. Yo, because when you get 50s, yeah. are you going to still shave the sides, the sides like that? Or are you just going to go full-blown, like, old man hair? I might have to go old man hair and just let it go down. With hair on the sides, too. My, dad, my dad's 70. He's still not bald. I know, and he's not gray, either. No, he's not gray. Yeah. By the way, um, by um, whoever the fan was, the History of Hyenas fan was from Philly, make yourself known um, right on the community board or send us an email at brb. Um, dot patreon at gmail dot com. Whoever yelled cutie with a smoothie at me and my dad yesterday in Citizens Bank Ballpark in Philly was funny. That's that, oh wow, you that was real. There? Somebody went cutie with a smoothie, and me and my dad were both fist fucking Philly cheesesteaks. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes cutie with a smoothie and just you were, kept walking. You were a fatty with a cheesesteak, oh, dude. Cause those cheesesteak. Let me tell you something. The Philadelphia cheesesteak yeah. is one of the best sandwiches. Yeah. I think in our country. What do they call it out there? Hoogie? Yeah, so, they're a like, hoogie. Hoogie. It's crazy how we literally, this is to the people, it's crazy how, you know, I'm talking about Philly. We drive from New York to Philly. It's 77 miles. It took an hour and a half, and it's a different fucking world. Yeah. They have different words for everything. Yeah. Their accents are completely different. You want to go home? Yeah, you want to get home? Call me on the phone. The phone, hoogies. But it's like, it's literally, it's like, it took an hour and a half. It would be a 10-minute flight. Yeah. And it's a different world. Yeah. Yeah, they got a whole different culture out there. Yeah. Yeah, they got rival teams. Yeah. Yeah, they just, it's a, South Jersey and Philly. 
they just they yeah. say, "Can I get a diet coke? Can I get a diet coke? coke. And a hoogie? Yeah. And what? And um, and uh, he just hit a home run. And I want to go to Wawa's. What? Yeah, they got Wawa's. Yeah. But I will tell you, me and my pops were in there with New York Yankees jerseys on, yeah. and the Philadelphia Phillies fans, very respectful people. They get a lot of bad that's raps that they're going to be scums. These, these, they, they couldn't have been nicer. Well, but that's probably because it was a day game. No, it, was, it wasn't. It was seven t- seven oh five. Wow, you didn't uh, get beer dumped on you. No, and we and we and, and in the eighth inning, uh, yeah. I'm sorry, the sixth inning, we went into McFadden's bar, which is they have a bar in the stadium, because we just wanted to check it out, and it was all Phillies fans, and we were in there with Mariana Rivera jerseys, and nobody said anything. Yeah, but they a lot of kids probably recognize you. That's why. No, I, no? I, mean, I don't know. I don't They're like, know. oh, that's Chris Stefano. That's Chris D. Yeah, the Queen Matriarch is here because you're not going to get messed up when, you know, they know yeah. the Matriarch's in town. Look, you that's, can't that's be— That's a nice stadium, by the way. Is it? You want to go? Uh, yeah, I'll go with you. But okay. look, I, I don't want you to be admitting out loud that you got low energy and you're on fumes. Yeah, right? Because cause, you're supposed to be the matriarch, cuz. I know, cuz. You know I, what nature does to people who are fucking weak? Yeah. Yeah, a lot. We get fucking yeah. eaten alive. Gonna, like this zebra in the picture that— Zach Isis has put up on the screen um, of just seven. It's about eight hyenas just eating a zebra underwater. Yeah, it's like they're, a, they're not. Yeah, it's not bad enough. They they put his. They have him underwater and they're eating him. Yeah, they just. <laughs> that's what you call a community table at a trendy restaurant. Look at the one in the back with its face just dipped in blood. Yeah, when they eat, yeah, it's like they do face painting. They just stick their heads in the body. In the body, absolutely, all in there. Because that's where the good stuff is—the guts and all that. Cause you got me a gift. Yeah, I got you a gift, cuz. What is it, cuz? Wow. Yes. I, I think I told this you is about not it. Like, this is not like Giannis at all to be thoughtful in any way. No, not at all. I'm a real bad person, right? No, you're actually, to be honest with you, you're a good person and, and, and you're a very, very loyal guy. Yeah. And I would be shocked if you and I weren't friends till till the end. Yeah? I think you're a loyal kid. You think so? Yeah. 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 I'm a, I'm a good kid. And you look jacked. Do I look jacked in this shirt? Yeah. Yeah, that it's a fitted shirt. I look pretty jacked. You got that from Banana Republic? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, though. The pattern on it's about to give me a seizure. <laughs> what do we got, cuz? Cuz, you're just a jersey-wearing kid. I wear baseball jerseys, yeah. Every single fucking day. Every time I come out of the house, my goal is to look like an undercover cop. Yeah, I mean, what? do you ever do a day without a jersey? And you're wearing a Mets jersey. Yeah. You're not a Mets fan. I'm a Yankees fan. Because you only... do what blacks do. Cause... Only blacks wear teams that they don't root for because it matches their sneakers. Because cause the only th- the thing is with me, I don't. Uh, the only team I won't wear is the Boston Red Sox. I don't really have a problem with the Mets. And to be honest, this one isn't really. This is a, a, a New York Mets jersey, but it's really more of a fan of Dallas strawberries. You love strawberries. Oh, that's a strawberry on the back? Strawberry, yeah. How many jerseys do you got? I have every single team. I have a player of every single team. Yeah. Um, besides the Boston Red Sox. Yeah. I won't just. I'll never buy a Red Sox. Jersey and what, what does the jersey do for you? Why do you wear? It? Is it just a good, a good on your body? It's a good fit. It's the only thing that kind of hides the pseudo tit in plain sight yeah. because then you know people will know and they'll try to cut it off. Yeah. Um. <laughs> and it's just, it just, it kind of, it, it, it creates that illusion that I'm jacked. Yeah. When I'm not. Yeah. If, and and when I'm on stage, when everyone's looking at you, I, it kind of takes focus off my thunder thighs. <laughs> Because I got a jersey on, and I feel good. I, you know, I just feel like I always feel like I'm round at third base. You do have thunder thighs. Up. Yeah, right. I got yeah. big legs, huh? When you sit down, it really, yeah, it's the, bad. you can see the material holding on for dear life. Can I ever get rid of that? I don't know, man. I it's just so, one right? of those things. Your genes, it's genetic. You know, like you, you have the genes. Like when you were young, you were able. You look, you were skinny, and you were jacked, yeah, and you were athletic. Kid, yeah. But as you get older, it's all gonna blow out to match that head. You got to be. You're a big boned kid. Yeah, yeah. Uh, people say I'm I'm stocky kid. You're a stocky stocky. I'm a kid. stocky or a husky kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But do girls like that beefiness, or oh. am I too fat? <laughs> well, girls like that, and also dudes who pass you on the street, apparently. Yeah, and, and dudes who send me DMs on Instagram. Wow, tell yeah. us about what happened. Okay, I got a fucking DM from a guy on Instagram. I mean, it's just wild right now, <laughs> you know, because then it kind of made me think like, wow. Yo, Zach's Jack too. Have you ever noticed? Zach's Jack. Zach's yeah. download Jack. Yeah, and when Zach takes you a shower, he's a good kid. The desert. That's right. Okay. So this kid, I'm not going to say his name because he's in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> but he sends me this message. We get all types of weird messages. Okay, so here's how it all started. Yeah. Zlatan. Uh, Z- um, uh, not Zlatan. Um, yeah, Zlatan, uh, who's a big-time uh, soccer player. He was playing for the Swedish national team, but he doesn't anymore. Big-time, world-famous uh, uh, soccer player. He was on the ESPN bodies issue yeah. um, the other day where they, you know, get naked and they, you know, take pictures. And Z- Zlatan has tattoos all over his body. He has tattoos on his butt. 
and a cute butt. And a cute butt. So I posted the picture. So I posted a picture of it with um, cr- uh, uh, cr- uh, crying, laughing faces on his butt. And I posted on my Instagram story, and I put Cinnabuds because <laughs> the tattoos look like Cinnabuds. So I put Cinnabuds yeah. up there, right? So then I get a message this morning. Again, I'm not going to mention his name. And don't read it exactly. Just paraphrase. Why? Just, just no, but if we, keep Nobody knows the name. We get a lot of messages like this. General. Oh, yeah. We you get, you a, lot get a lot of them. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I saw you post that pickup. There he goes, reading yeah. it specifically. Yeah. I mean, the he guy's goes, wild. He can't be contained because that's why he's the matriarch. Yeah. It goes, hey, it goes, hey, I saw you post that pickup's late time. <laughs> I was wondering if you're into that because I never see you post anything women related. You just post comedy, your daughter, and hyenas. I mean, <laughs> we're living life, no? yeah. You, said you yeah. just post comedy, your daughter, and hyenas. Because that's what's important. That's what it is. And they goes, let me know because I'm in the closet too. Whoa! And I see you walking around the West Village a lot. And he said, I'm in the closet, too. Wow. Just wow. assuming that I'm gay. Because he knows. Because I'm not he, gay. I'm just a TBP. Yeah, but your butt twitches when you work. There's a lot of jelly in there. Am I TBG, too? Wow. So then I wrote, my response was, again, you know, Giannis would argue, why am I even responding? Absolutely. But the kid, not only do I accept a message, <laughs> send him a friend request, uh, but then yeah. I, I go back, LOL, wow. Yeah. Then I say, nah, not gay, but support the gays big time. <laughs> That's what I wrote back. <laughs> yeah. Then he goes, then here's where he just becomes, this is this is the funniest part to me. He yeah. says, okay, just saying low key, I walked by you going to Village Underground on Friday. You were with a fellow black comic. And I felt like you checked me out big time. <laughs> so I was confused, too, because I'm not gay either. But it got me thinking, you know? Whatever, dude. Go Yankees. Fuck the Red Sox. <laughs> ah! Isn't that a fucking wild message to get? Absolutely. Do you think the kid was fucking around or that was, or that's, that was a true blue message, a TBM? Well, here's the thing about modern day. Yeah. With the internet. Uh the, our podcast has taken off. We got a lot of fans. Right. We get, you know, people yell shit at us. We're fucking wild kids. Right. And they can contact us. It's right. so accessible now. Right. So usually the people who reach out and contact us, you know, have, right. you know, are a little wild. Yeah. The ones who actually do, like, think about it. If you're a fan of something, right? Right. Are you going to go ahead and, like, message or email them? Most no. people don't. Most normal people don't. So whoever messages you, has a little fucking wild in them. And guess what? Yeah. We love you guys. Because this is a wild podcast. Yeah. And Chrissy D is a wild human being. Yeah. And the truest of the psychos actually get into the studio. Shout out Jen Bagakis, <laughs> Rafael DeLuca. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's hilarious. Yeah. I mean, yeah. how crazy is that? Yeah. You should just respond and be like, no, I'm not gay, but I support. I'm trans, though. Yeah. I'm a straight woman. Yeah. Who's into. I'm a, I'm a lesbian trans. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a lesbian trans out. So, yeah, that's what I woke up to this morning. And it's just been a little fucking weird all day. I thought, you know, my right ear is clogged. Um, I've been real fucking tired. Well, you're a little bit on the spectrum. That's why they call you Chris the Spectrum, though. Yeah, that's it. That's what it is. Did you walk around Bay Ridge today, cuz? Yeah, I did. What'd you do? I walked into Banana Republic to buy some T-shirts. I wanted some white tees. Yeah, you still never got me my, gave me my gift. Because I'll tell you this, the 86... Well, yeah, that's right. We're about to do it. Oh, yeah. The 86th Street Banana Republic, it's like it's owned by Santa Claus. Yeah. I mean, it is, it's an outlet there, and you yeah. can get good prices. Bay Ridge, baby. But I walked in, and I remembered I didn't have my debit card because I lost it in Syracuse. How brute smagoots is Syracuse? It is... Totes, Brits, my goods. TBA. TBA. For, uh, TB, see, I couldn't even do it in my brain. TBA. Yeah. TBY. Totes, Brits, my goods. Totes, TB. M. M, yeah. Totes, Brits, my goods. Uh, you're a Chris the Spectre now. Yeah. Yeah, because, yeah, you're wild. You need to be walked up to. I think it would be good for the for the economy of Poughkeepsie just to know that that's the place that you got walked up to and killed because yeah. it would become a tourist site. That's they'd, it. They'd put a plaque there. Yeah. I mean, here lies the matriarch wild. Wild. Chrissy the Spectre now. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so my well, my Coke bottle shaped casket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I lost my debit card in Syracuse. So I walked in. I said, "Oh yeah, I don't have enough cash to buy these t-shirts." So I walked back out. Well, got another coffee. I'm on two iced coffees today. Wow. Yeah. And uh, where'd you go, Mocha on 86 and Fourth? I went to Cafe Cafe. 
Hey. Oh, Café Café, the yeah. Norwegian spot. Yeah, love it. Coffee's good. I think I'm going to start hanging out there Muffins a little, a little dry. Uh, muffins are a little dry, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they've been sitting in there for a they've day. They've been sitting so. in there, but the coffee is good. Remember when we sat there and we saw that transsexual person walking around? Yeah, it started, making, crack? Us, yeah. Yeah, it started making us uncomfortable. It's not good for the property value. Yeah, that's what you know, it is. Once you become a homeowner, yeah. you're a little less tolerant. You just don't want, it's what, not, that, not that the person was a transsexual, no problem with that, but he was clearly selling crack. Yeah, he was. Or like, on crack. Yeah, it was, yeah. yeah, it had nothing to do with uh, that he was trans. It was, or she is trans. Oh, she, yeah. It was just the fact that he was out, outwardly selling and using crack and on the And walking corner. around in a circle at 11 a.m. with yeah. a mini skirt and half a shirt on. It's yeah. like, I'm having a muffin, having yeah. a coffee. It's too early with for that. With a pink wig on. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I got your present, cuz. Thanks, cuz. Yeah. But, see, I can see a little bit of it. I already see it's white. Yeah. So, it's already going to be a problem. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. my tit, you can't hide the tit in white. Yeah, but you can wear this in your house when you put on, when you dance alone. Oh, great. Yeah. Yeah. And you ready? Yeah. I'm going to hold it up to the camera for people to see. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. Whitney Houston. Fucking Whitney Houston. And don't worry. Thank you, cuz. XL, double XL? Triple XL. Is it a triple? Of course. Yeah. 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 Yes. <laughs> Whitney this Houston, fan. cuz this is a fucking great shirt. Yeah, well, and it says TG on it. That's right, true, true guy, true guy, right there. Yeah, wow. Yeah, yo, this is fucking one of the best kisses I ever got, cuz. If yo. I was closer, I'd kiss you on the lips. <laughs> But I'm not gay, go Yankees. Yeah, I'm not gay, go Yankees. Fuck the Red Sox. Yo, cuz that's gonna be a fucking, that's gonna be a phrase on here. We're gonna say something gay that, yo, but I'm not gay, go Yankees. Go Yankees. <laughs> cuz we're going on Thursday to see the fucking CC Sabathia All Star game. Yeah, he Celebrity invited Softball you. Game. And you, we're gonna yeah. go to the red, we're gonna walk on the red carpet as the Bay Ridge Boys slash history. <laughs> yeah, this is unbelievable, man. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna we got we're... fucking pro athletes on our, you know, uh, supporting a part of the matriarch. CC Bathy is part of the matriarch. He is. How wild is that? Yeah, he know because his body's blown out too. Guess who else wants to be part of the matriarch? And who? 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 Who, uh, who likes hyena picks? Noah Syndergaard, the pitcher for the Mets. Get out of here. We got the, so we got both. We got both New York teams aces. Part of the matriarch. He's gonna be there. Yeah, uh, he will not be there, but he's oh. just a fan of of our, of our stuff. Wow! So go to patreoncom slash Boys and join the matriarch yourself. Let me say this right now. Listen, guys, our matriarchy is growing. It's important. Go support dollar a month, five dollars a month for anyone who does the was it twenty or twenty five. We're gonna send you a personalized video. Absolutely. We will send you a personalized thank you video. But here's the thing, you know, it's you get to pay us. You get to show how much you love us yeah. by just supporting us directly. Yeah. Patreon is an amazing, amazing app and website. Yeah. It's completely legit, yeah. and your money goes directly to me and Chris and supports our efforts to keep this going and to buy us new jerseys, yeah. smoothies, and ice cups of coffee. Thank you, yeah. Yo, you're, you're, even when you're on fumes, you got good energy. I got good energy, right? Yeah, yeah I'm, a just a, I'm a true blue... Yeah, so so yeah, so we got merchandise coming too. We got a few t shirt ideas in the works. Um we got a first shipment coming, so look out for those pretty soon. Cause we're really taking over the podcast world, plain and simp. We're plain and simp. Plain and simp is something that um is is you know we, it is we, what it is it's plain and simple it is what it is it's plain and simple that's like what you know there's no other way there's no kind of fancy language attached to it it's just if if something is what it is and there's no way around it like two plus two equals four plain and simp if you're a cute kid a cute kid is a cute kid yeah plain and simp like Chrissy D is gonna wake up every day and look for chocolate chip muffins plain and simp plain and simp it's just it's it's as it's as guaranteed as two plus two equals four. It just is what it is. You know, you you know, you live in Sunset Park. You're gonna have barbecues outside in the parks for your kids' birthdays. <laughs> Plain and simple. <laughs> just is what it is. You're about the public grill. Look, if you're if you're African American in America and it's a Sunday, you're definitely gonna have a barbecue in the backyard. You're gonna have Air Force Ones on. Yeah. And a white T-shirt that looks like a dress. Plain, Plain and, and simple. simple. Plain if and simple. Yeah. And if and if you're Italian kid growing up in America, you're gonna want to have a white beater, be sitting on your stoop playing handball. Playing handball off your stoop, yelling about the Yankees. Plain, Plain and simp, simp. Probably saying something racist. Plain, Plain and simp. Plain yeah, and it simp. It is what it is. If your name is Giannis Pappas, you're definitely going to wake up around 10, 30, 11. Yep. With the dog waiting in your doorway because he's not allowing your room. Yep. But it's got to take a shit. Yeah. what do you got to do first? Have a cup of cough from your carrig and throw a snooze in. 
plain and simple. Plain sim. and simple. Jerk off onto the radiator. Jerk off onto the radiator covers. Plain and simple. <laughs> yeah. Sim. If your name is Delilah DeStefano, you're going to wake up every day and try to run into the middle of the street. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. Just says what is. You want to hit those crosswalks going at least 20 miles an hour. If your name is Zach Isis, you're going to wake up in a room that doesn't have AC, but it's got a fan pointed at your head, and you're going get, to uh, get up and go to the the riot cast studios on yeah. the train that's above ground yeah plain and simple plain and simple and if you grow if you if you grow your beer long you're going to be trying to uh uh look on different ways how to make the caliphate how to how to, how to reinvigorate the caliphate make it in new york city if you've just recently cut your beer you're going to be looking for transmission deals plain and simple plain and simple if you post a picture of you and your friend drinking a smoothie it's going to get reposted on the bay ridge boys instagram Plain, Plain and, and simp. simp. If your name is Jim Serpico, you're going to wake up every day and post pictures to Instagram of your children holding fish. Plain, Plain and simp. <laughs> <laughs> How Long Island are those fixing pictures? Yo, Long Island fish, guys. Oh, gosh. Our man, Jim Serpico. Check out his Instagram, at Jim Serpico. It's all his kids holding fish. <laughs> That's all it is, cuz. Plain, Plain and, and simp. simp. Mini if, Mussolini. If your name's Bardo Church, you're going to show up here one out of three weeks with an intern who's slightly autistic. Plain and simp. Plain and simp. If your name's Chris the Teacher, you're going to send me an email that I don't really care about. Plain, Plain and sip. If your name's Jen Bacacus, you're going to give us four ages when we ask how old you are. Plain, Plain and sip. sip. <laughs> if your name's Rafael DeLuca, you're going to make a mixtape of us saying Plain and Sip. Plain and Sip. <laughs> He's got a new mix out there. It's yeah. called Plain and Sip. Did, Plain and Sip. Pl Plain and Sip. That's what it is, he, guys. The, the last one he did, what was it about? Trance, right? Trant, yeah, that yeah. was a funny one. It we can pull that up. We, we'll play that. We'll play yeah, that we'll at some that. point today. Zach Isis. You have it, Zach Isis? <laughs> Yeah. Cuz, let me tell you. Yeah. Why your fucking arms are jacked out. Cuz, for the good angle? Yeah. This is a good angle? Cuz, you literally don't have a piece of your body that's not covered in hair. <laughs> <laughs> You're a hairy fucking kid. Yo, cuz. You're a hairy kid. The weirdest part about it is the hair, it's in strange, strange patches. Yeah. And you know what's happened? As I've gotten older, it's kind of like you. Like, when you're ethnic fucking trash. Right, like you are. It, yeah. I'm a Greek fucking trash monkey. Yeah. As you get older, your body just starts to adapt that kind of gross, gross yeah. ethnic look. Yeah. So this hair didn't used to be there, but it keeps riding higher and higher up my yeah. arm. But girls like it, though. Girls like it, Girls yeah. like it. And, you know, you're a cute kid. Yeah. You're about to be off the market. Yeah. Yeah. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Because you coming to the wedding? Yeah, cause you gonna dance Greek? Unless I uh, unless I got a, unless I got a spot at the comedy cellar. That's it. Then I can't make. Yeah, <laughs> Play it simple. Play it simple. <laughs> Yo, cause you cannot. You you got it. You got to behave yourself at the wedding, cause you can't wear a jersey there. Why? Yeah, you come can't. on, cause yeah. when you when you dress up, it's funny. Yeah, it's always funny when you dress up. Me too. We're not comfortable dressed nah, up. No, I don't look. I don't look right with it. Yeah, like when I wore my suit on David Letterman show. Yeah, it we, was three sizes too big. Listen, cousins, matriarch, listen it. If you want, if you want to see something real funny, go on YouTube, Google Chris DiStefano, uh, David Letterman, and watch his David Letterman set when he comes out in uh, one hundred percent, no doubt about it, off the rack, yeah, suit that's four sizes too big. Yep, I'll tell you exactly what happened. I realized I didn't have a suit. I did David Letterman June eight, I think it was June eighteenth, two thousand thirteen. Uh, at 6 p.m., at 3 p.m. of that day, I went into Joseph A. Bank and just picked the suit right off the rack. Yeah, I you, just grabbed one and you, put it right on. You did pretty – look at how big that suit is. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Yo, but I did pretty good, though, no? For a kid from Ridgewood, Queens, buying your first suit, because I'm surprised you didn't walk into Models and yeah. ask him if they had one. And guess what, cuz? And guess who the other guest was? John Travolta. The it fucking, was fucking yo, I, yo, I, I didn't even think about that. How fucking crazy is that? The first national TV appearance I ever had, John Travolta was the guest. So Bay Ridge Boys was fucking destined from day one. Yeah, I told you, I, I, I mentioned this to you before. John Travolta was the guest on David Letterman, and from that Civil War episode, we were obsessed with Stonewall Jackson. Obsessed. If you go back and listen to that episode, the Civil War was wild. All we did was talk about uh, Stonewall Jackson because of how cute he was. We in his really photos. didn't. Though. He was a cute fucking kid. Yes, we did. Because I don't believe in ghosts. No matter how you tried to tell me yeah. that. Yeah. Well, let me tell the people. Yeah. At Stonewall Jackson, guess where he was baptized in like 1861, uh, 1831. Uh, That's right. Bay fucking Ridge. Cause oh, how wild baptized in Bay fucking Ridge. That is kind of wild. Yeah, because his fucking spirit latched on. Listen, cuz Chrissy's a wild kid. Yeah. I want to pull up the first Facebook message that Chris wrote me. In 2009. Are you serious? Wow. 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 Cuz, how do you even find that shit? Cuz, should we do another shirt? <laughs> oh. <laughs>
part out because some fucking psycho is going to fucking yeah, he's gonna make buy, the shirts. He's that gonna, same kid is going to buy the domains. Yo, you got some real stalker weird fans. Yeah. Guys. Yeah. Yeah. But see how I just turned on the Jew brain right there? You did. To protect our assets. <laughs> <laughs> so then you got to turn on the JB. You got to turn the JB. That's a good shirt too, Jew brain. Yeah, Jew brain. Yeah. JB Incorporated. Yeah. Okay, 2009. You can edit that out? Oh. What? Which part? The Jew brain? No, not Jew brain. The oh, fucking t-shirt idea. Yeah, just put hyena cackles gonna, over it. I'm just going to put silence so people will hear that shirts are coming out, but they won't Great. know the idea. Or just throw some hyena cackles over it. That's kill, what kill, 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 Okay, this is 2009. December 10th, 2009 at 1014 p.m., right? Okay. So that means you're probably going to sleep to go to your physical therapy job. Okay. This is when you first started comedy, right? Uh, oh. December 2009? No, uh, December 10th, 2009. December 10th, 2009. So I started comedy August 5th, 2009. So wow. we're about four months in at this four point. Four months in, you know, uh, I've been doing comedy longer. I'm an older kid, a cute kid. Cute kid. But this is how we knew we were going to be friends and because, yeah, okay. yeah. This is message number one. Message number one. All right. I don't. When's the first time I met you? I don't remember. I, re, I the first time I met you, I think was at Pudge Fernandez's show, in uh, in um in New Jersey. That Angel Angel G show it was like at a bar in the back of a restaurant in New Jersey. It was a pu- I didn't I didn't wasn't on the show. I just like I saw you sitting at the bar. And I was like, what's up? My name's Chris. You want to hang out? You want to work out? And, <laughs> you want to work out? <laughs> I was cool to you. I was cool. You were right? a nice kid yeah, to me. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you were yeah. fat in your leather jacket. You yeah. were just sitting there bloated. Yeah, I was. <laughs> Fucking fat kid, you're a fat kid, and, and and you had on a Tuskegee Airmen jacket. Did I? Yeah, you had on you had on a fucking on a bombing raid jacket. Oh, yeah. I, ha- I know that. It's about four sizes too big. I tried to give it to you, but it's too small for you because your arms are too long. Yeah, yeah, my arms are too long. Yeah, yeah, you were put together by the simulators for sure, one hundred percent. And I laugh every day. I, every day, plain and simple. Yeah. Plain and simple. Yeah, yeah, your feet are deformed, plain and simple. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so here's the deal. So Chrissy, Chrissy, you were a real go getter at the beginning. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're a wild kid, so yeah. you go right in. Yeah. So he goes, "Hey, Giannis," and he puts a period there, you know, because he's from Queens. Yeah. Yeah. You can, yeah, he's an educated kid, but the grammar. I'm from Queens. He's from Queens. Yeah. So I'm gonna try to do it in your voice too. Right. Hey, Giannis, what's up, man? Hope you remember me. If not, this is embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> but was just wondering if you had any availability on your show this Sunday, question mark, or even the following Sunday. <laughs> Pudge Fernandez has had asked me to if you had room. Uh, Pudge Fernandez had asked me to if you had this. I'm reading exactly how you wrote it, cuz. Wow, you hadn't been out of Queens at this point. No, no, no. Yo, you I, hadn't I, even I met never, a Jew yet. I had, no, I. Cause the first time I had been to Manhattan was probably two months before that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, cuz. So yeah, yeah. So he goes, yeah. Or even the following said, Punch Fernandez, Punch Fernandez had asked me to if you had room for the both of us on the same night. But if not, it's cool. <laughs> also, I'm sure a lot of comics probably asked to get down with your film company ditch. Actually they don't. Yeah. <laughs> and I guess I'm one of those comics. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> wow, because you were awkward. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm a go getter, no? Yeah, but yeah, I, th- I probably thought you were secretly gay too here. Like, yeah. trying to ask me if you could suck my dick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but seriously, I watched some of the stuff online and I think it's really cool. Wow, you're fucking gay. Bet, bet, bet. Yeah. Uh, I watched uh, so it's really cool. I mean, if there was any help you guys needed with equipment, <laughs> with equipment, <laughs> or or anything, or anything, or if there was any time that you needed a comic, I would love to help out. I mean, I could do a lot of act outs and characters. So IDK, I don't know, yo, you were acronym and even back then, cause yeah, wow. I don't know. I was just throwing it out there. So let me know about the show or about the film stuff if you're not too busy. Sorry about the long message on Facebook. I know it's kind of gay. Wow. wow. But that's just how I roll. No homo. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm a gay kid. <laughs> Speak to you soon, man. Thanks. Signed, Chris Stefano. Wow. wow. Yo, you're a fucking kid from Ridgewood, Queens. Bad. You you messaged me like you were applying for a job on LinkedIn. Yo. You signed it, Chris Stefano. And you were living in your mother's basement doing Absolute. ditch films fucking. Yeah. I, I was nowhere. Truck. Exactly. Yeah. And you were asking to do a fucking spot on my free room. I, asked, I said I, I offered to hold the equipment. Yeah. 
Yeah. You're a yo. And yo, and just because you have no compassion, you never even responded. No, I responded. What'd you respond with? I responded the next day, which is pretty good for me. Yeah. Yeah, 10 11 10 11 2009. Okay. So, and this is so me too. One thirty six a.m. Yeah. Wow, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna get Alzheimer's bad. Yeah. Okay. I go. Of course, I remember you. Come by sometime on Sunday and do a set. Just let me know which one you want to come down on. How fucking cool that am I cool. as a kid? Cool kid. Yo, that's a cool kid. I probably never showed up. No, you go like. Then you responded. Twelve eleven two thousand nine at seven fifteen a.m. Yeah, you, I was. I was. Up, you were up for work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You say, okay, man, cool. Period. So, how about this Sunday? Pudge had asked if he could get down too. If there was room for the both of us, if not, that's okay. You keep going with that, if not, you're a real cool kid. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, this Sunday would be cool if possible. Thanks a lot, man. And then this part. Also, want to suck your dad. Yeah. <laughs> Did I really say that? No, 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 uh. no. And then, uh, yeah. So then that's <laughs> it. Yo, I was a cool kid to you, cuz. Yeah, you were a nice kid. I probably showed up. I had fucking diesel traps back then, right? Yeah, yo, but look at this. Yo, by the way, everything I'm reading to you is 100% exactly what it post was. A, we'll post, we'll a, post pics of post it. Post a snap. We'll, we'll give it to ISIS. He'll post it up on the community board. Yeah. First messages between Giannis and Chrissy D. And ISIS will translate it uh, into Arabic in to Arabic, send back yeah. to his friends. Yeah. Okay, so then in, on 6-17-2010, you randomly... Uh, just messaged me a Wikipedia page of China Airlines Flight 006. <laughs> Is that the one that almost hit the water? Uh, China, what happened with that? Was it a daily nonstop flight departing from uh, Taipei at 4.50 is scheduled to right? Was this the one that hit the water? I think it almost did. Did we have like a conversation think, about yeah, it? I think me, you, and Phoebe Robinson had a conversation about it. And I was telling at you about four? the story. Yeah. And yeah. I was telling you about the story. Yeah. And and you guys didn't believe me. So I fucking went right home and I gave you that article. Because at that time, yeah. I didn't think. Because, I, again, I was just using technology. I didn't, I didn't know that you could Google stuff from your phone. So I had to go back to my desktop at my mother's <laughs> house to search the article and send it. Yeah. Yeah. On that one computer, that's probably a compact presario. Yeah. yeah Is it yeah. still on that desk? That computer still to this day, if you turn it on from all all the fucking porn I used to watch on it. Yeah, it freezes. It freezes. Yeah. Every, every, it freezes. <laughs> Two minutes in, it's frozen. And then look what I texted back. This is uh, We're going to post it so you don't know. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Wow, exclamation point. Wow. So we were even saying wow back then. Wow, yeah. And, then, and we didn't even really know each other like that. No. And then in 2014, now we're friends. So three years later. Three years later. So we became friends at that. We were talking on the phone. This yeah, is when I was in bracket. Miami. Remember we did MSG The Bracket in, in 2013. Yeah, because I called you when when uh, I got dumped, hysterical crying, walking through the blizzard. Yeah. We used yeah. to talk on the phone when yeah. I was in, in Miami. Yeah. And then we bonded on both being heartbroken. Yeah. So then in 2014, you texted me. Uh, I remember you told me you wanted a shirt. You wanted a Maurice shirt. So I sent you the link, uh, and I said, we actually ran out of all the shirts, but if you want one, they're here. Uh, and I sent you the link. And then and then from there, and then you said, oh, awesome, Wow, you man. were going to make me buy a shirt. And then you sent me randomly again on 821. Uh, you 821 me, what year? 2017. Okay. Yeah. And now we're like in, we're friends. You're in Bay Ridge at this point. Yeah. Yeah. You sent me a picture of the, of the eclipse. Oh, you yeah. You sent me a video of the eclipse. But it really wasn't the eclipse. What was it? Fucking take take a look. I'm gonna take a look. Let me. It's taking a while to load. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's not loading. No. No. And then so that was the well, beginning. Well, what it was was is a picture of the eclipse. But then when you press play, it's somebody's nuts that fucking <laughs> drop it to frame. <laughs> you get tea bagged. <laughs> it's some old dude's nuts. Yeah. <laughs> so that was the that was the origins right there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So this episode is about actually about the history of us. Yo, this is the history of us. This yeah. is the history of Yanni P and Chrissy D. Yeah. Yo, let's fucking keep. Let's tell people more. Yeah. Yeah. So I remember. So I remember too. I, my first memory of you, yeah, sharp memory of you, yeah, right, was um, was at a Pudge Fernandez show in Queens, okay, that we did. It, remember, it had a long bar. Oh yeah, and, um, um, cobblestones yeah. or something. Yeah. And I remember then. I remember we were talking outside or whatever, and I remember thinking like, wow, his personality doesn't match his look. I was like, he's a sweet kid. He's a sweet kid. Yeah, yeah. you're a good kid. Yeah. I, I remember that pla I, I remember that place well because right across the street they had this Asian spot. They had dope rice puddings. They did. I would go in there. Oh, and you know where the sweets are. Yeah, I would go in there and have a fucking couple of puddings or two. Yeah, in between because I would host because I used to host this guy Pudge Fernandez who's a great guy now. Um, great guy. Yeah, you may he may be your Uber driver. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just it is what it is. It is what it is. Because plain and simple, you know. Yeah. I mean, sometimes you gotta drive cabs. I mean, it is what it is. He's yeah. fucking great guy, Pudge Fernandez. I mean, funny back fucking then guy. he was like thirty something years old, and his daughter was like twenty nine. Twenty nine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
He's a big time Colombian kid. Yeah. Um, we used to fuck talk about sweets. Me and him used to fucking pound these yeah. these croissants from this Colombian bakery. He's not a small kid. He's not a small kid. He's a big kid. I remember one time he didn't eat for 35 days. He lost like 40 pounds in 35 <laughs> days. He was just drinking lemon juice and ginger cayenne peppers, and then he just put it all back on in one weekend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember one time he just stopped eating because yeah. he was like, ah, I'm going to fucking go on this diet. It's going to be dull. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So I remember Punch Fernandez, he was the guy. He, like, really helped me out so much when I first started stand-up. He would, like, put me on his shows and, like, drive me around everywhere. And, and at that time, you, because you had been stand up, uh, doing stand-up a couple of years, you or even more, maybe four or five years by then, right? By 2010? Yeah, I mean— 2009, 2010? If this is the history of us, yeah, I really started stand-up. I started stand-up in 2000. Yeah, and but I also had a sketch group. We yeah. did a sketch group, and yeah. then uh, and then I quit comedy pretty for the most part for till about two thousand and five six. Because yeah, you got shot. Yeah, and just I took time. I was doing social work. Yeah, and um, yeah, you're a having panic attack. Social work, yeah, 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 having yeah. panic attacks. Yeah. yeah, and let me just say this real quick. Yeah, let me just say this. Okay, I'm fucking sick and tired. I'm really sick and tired about all the people posting about all these issues and things like that. If you want to do something, you know, you know who the people who really help in this world are the people who quietly do stuff. Right. Go fucking do a fundraiser. Raise right. some money. Post about the fundraiser to get people in there. Yeah. But stop showing off. Yeah. Because the people who are always fucking showing off Gross. don't do shit and they don't really fucking care. Gross. They don't really fucking care. Okay? Yeah. That's how it is. I you agree. can't tell me shit. Yeah. I grew up, my mother was a human rights lawyer. I used to walk around with a fucking UNICEF fucking thing. Our Christmas cards were always fucking uh, those UNICEF cards that go to kids all uh, all yeah. over the world. Uh, my mother uh, wrote a book about the international rights of children for, for the United Nations. I grew up around fucking social consciousness and doing shit. Right. That's what it was. My mother was on the Human Rights Commission in New York City. Right. You know what I mean? Right. I was a social worker for fucking five years. Right. You you do shit. Right. You, you quietly shut your mouth and you fucking do shit. Yeah. So stop fucking posting. Your tweets don't make you a good person. No. People think they do, though. Yeah. 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 It's like it's become currency. Absolutely. It's become fucking currency. I agree. It means nothing. Yeah. Whatever you're yelling means nothing. Yeah. It's all self-interested garbage to make yourself fucking look good. Yeah. If you really cared, you'd do shit quietly. Yeah. This is comedy. It's fucking comedy. Stop posting your fucking... Oh, blah, blah, blah. If you do, I expect you to fucking do something. Yeah. Start a fundraiser. Raise some fucking money. Do something. And that, it was our segment, Liberal Kakianis. Yeah. That is. So every, every episode, we're going to have either one segment of Liberal Kakianis or Gas Pipe Chrissy D. No, well, that's Steel Pipe Chrissy. Steel Pipe Chrissy Steel Pipe Chrissy, Chrissy yeah. It's going to be either be Steel Pipe Chrissy D, where I, Steel Pipe Chrissy, where I go on a rant, or Liberal Kakianis, where, as you just heard, Giannis goes on a rant. Yeah, so there yeah. was. Give, we'll put in some fucking applauses yeah. after that. We'll make We'll do a drop. Liberal cut. This has been liberal cucky on his time. How bad do I look like? I'm working in the campaign office of a local you Democratic do. candidate. Yeah, you yeah. do. You look like you work for Justin Brandon, the fucking local <laughs> Bay Ridge congressman. <laughs> yeah, who I saw in Panatico, by the way. If you yeah? listen, yeah. And he said, and I, he said, uh, he was, he was, he. he I'm not gonna lie to you. He, he, he looked like he had a couple of breakfasts. I thought he was, I thought it was meeting some people. But it was just him. Uh, <laughs> He's yeah. not a small kid. He's not a small kid. Cute kid. Sweet, cute kid. Yeah. He tatted up. He's tatted. Sweet yeah. Tats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a Bay Ridge kid. He's a Bay Ridge kid. Yeah, yeah. He, he had a, he had a, you know, he had a few, uh, he had a few egg sandwiches over there. But you know, what are you gonna do? It is what it is. So, yo, if you're a big kid, you gotta eat, plain and simple. Yeah. Um, and uh, and I and he said, uh, I haven't seen the Bay Ridge Boys episodes in, in a while. Yeah. So I lied to him. I told him, yeah. I was like, oh yeah, because you know we we're trying to sell it to TV and make it a movie. So. Uh, <laughs> So, uh, so we have it, you know. We haven't put one up, but the truth is, we've just been lazy. Yeah, new ones no, are the coming. The truth up. is, we've been fucking. We Bay Ridge boys. We want to make it as good as we can, so we take our time with it, and we've been putting a lot of energy into history hyenas. Well, that's the real truth. About that is the truth. Of it, it. Is you can't do a hundred things at once. Yeah, we've really focused on the podcast to build it up. Yeah, uh, you guys have really st started joining the Patreon, becoming members, which is really great. Yeah. Keep doing that. Also, tell your friends yes recommend be proactive you are in control tell your friends if you love this recommend it to a friend so we've been really focusing on the history of hyenas but the new bay ridge boys episodes are coming real soon and we, guess what we we just found new jobs for our characters so you're gonna see there's gonna be one group out there one fucking city one one group uh uh, uh, in this city, one union, uh, union that's really gonna like us. I couldn't get it. Yeah. out. I'm tired. I'm sorry. Well, well, yeah, but you're doing good, good. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're not really low. You know energy. what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're yeah. not gonna tell the group because I got on the Jew hat. That's right. Yeah. Jew brand is in full effect. Yes, yeah, what it is. And I asked Justin Brandon. I said, how come there's no express? 
uh, ferry that goes from Bay Ridge to downtown Manhattan. It would take 10 minutes and really revitalize the neighborhood. And he gave me an answer, but I couldn't understand because he had food in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, rawr, 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 rawr. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. then, me and Chrissy were, uh, you know, we were kind of like acquaintance friends. Like we were, cool. yeah. like, we, were we didn't really, yeah, we were kind of cool each other. Like, yeah, we were friends. With, well, our girlfriends were friends, and then our girlfriends became. friends. And we lived around the corner from each other. Yeah, and they, but they only became friends when when Girl Code started. Yeah, when Girl Code started, yeah. these two girls became very close friends, and I was living. Literally, we were living around the corner from each other for about, I would say, a year. Yeah. Six months, maybe. Pretty much. We yeah. never really hung out, though. No, not really. Well, we no. kept saying, we're going to hang out, we're going to hang out. Yeah. But then, yeah, yeah, just wouldn't happen. We would sometimes see each other at that yogurt land on 7th Avenue. That's right. Remember, and I would eat fucking, I would get a couple of yogurts. Good spot. Yeah, and we were fat fucking kids fat back fucking then. Fat fucking kids. If you guys want to see us being fat fucking kids, Google a show called MSG's The Bracket. Yeah. And Giannis and I are the host. We filmed this in, I want to say, 2013. Summer, early summer 2013 and we were fat kids and and we didn't even look like each other here's how different we looked yeah. i was on the train once because a lot of new york sports fans watched i was on the train once and this construction worker was sitting there with a lunchbox <laughs> and he was like a real typical new york guy and he goes yo you're that kid from the bracket and i was like yeah he goes yo that show's pretty funny i really like what you and that fat mexican kid do <laughs> he called Giannis a fat mexican yeah. yeah if you look back at old pictures of Giannis, he really looks like you absolutely are so much have gotten so much better looking with age you were always a cute kid but back then, like you in the green shirt when you did your special, look at that you one. Look literally at that. look like Tish Nataro. <laughs> That's who you look like. You look like a lesbian. I mean, look at what I mean. Look Tish at that is, is not fat, but Wait, look at that press video from Chicago. Look how fat it was. Scroll back up. Wow. You just had it. You just had it open. Where was it? With oh yeah, with the sweatshirt. Yeah. 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 <laughs> wow. You had a fat fucking. Yo, you I had look, no jawline. You, yeah, but you look and you look like you were going down a bad path. But cuz you have turned it all the way around. Yo, cuz I'm a fucking plain and simp, cute kid. Cute kid. Plain and simp. But Google Chris Stefano was fat face yeah, too. Just go. Uh, get, just go the bracket. Giannis Papas, Chris Stefano. The bracket, yeah. Giannis yeah. Papas, Chris Stefano. Zach and Isis just learned how to uh, spell in English. Yeah, oh yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's a, converted. He's an Arab look at how skinny you look there, all the way to. I mean, you look yeah. fucking fantastic there. Yo, cuz there's not one image of us from what? the bracket. It's all Bay Ridge boys. They still just fucking the play feet. it every night, and we can't. Did you put the bracket? Oh, there it is. There it is on the right, all the way on the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Wow. wow! That's a good one. Can you post that one up, Zachy? Yo, cuz, can you can, yo email yo, message that one to us? Look at we gotta we post that on our Patreon. Cuss, look at my tits. Look cuss. at your tits. Yeah. Do I got tits in that one, bad? Yeah, cuz. What do we get? Pay? They play that. We get. Pay, what do we get paid? Like five hundred bucks. We got paid. Literally, we filmed one day. I'm not lying, to you guys. Probably broke every union rule in the book. <laughs> we filmed from like six o'clock in the morning to two o'clock in the morning. We filmed ten episodes yeah. of the show in one day. Yeah. In total, me and Giannis got like twenty five hundred dollars each. <laughs> And then we had to give up. And they they probably, if we would have signed another deal, we probably would have made well into the six figures off this show. Because if we did any other deal, they still play. Yeah. This show. Yeah. And there was a period where they were playing it like over yeah. and over and over. Yo, because if they if we signed yeah. a real TV deal, yeah. we'd be rich. I mean, we were you know they got us you know before we really had anything. But like just the people who run MSG are real scumbuckets. <laughs> they really yeah. are. Yeah, don't edit that part either. You guys know you are. You're real fucking scumbags. I mean, it is so fucking sleazy. It's your fucking sleazy fucking guys. Yeah. Um, and you guys know that you're sleaze buckets. So yeah. you probably never listen to the podcast. But if you do, and if you know anyone who does work at the TV offices of MSG, just know your superiors are probably fucking sleazy McGee's. I mean, the, we, we. I remember what we got paid. We got five grand yeah, each. Yeah, balls. Five grand each for yeah. something that they probably fucking made a shit ton of shit money. Shit ton of money. And yeah, they all got new cars and shit. Yeah. And uh, we got dumped by our girlfriends and fucking Giannis went to Miami. And I fucking live with my dad on Staten Island. Yeah, so here's the history. So yeah. then we started filming this bracket show. And since he lived around the corner, we would meet right on the corner and take the train together. Yes. And we'd go into the bracket. And yeah, I think we filled like 10 or 11 episodes yeah. in like fucking three days. And that's when you started to really, when we filmed that show, you started to really realize my sweets addiction. Remember, every morning I would wow. go get a black and white cookie. We'd stop and get breakfast, and he would eat a black and white cookie for fucking breakfast. And you would laugh. You'd be like, yo, you're fucking eating sweets. He was like, yo, you're, you're like a grown man. Why are, you getting, why are you getting black and white cookies? It's kid shit. And I was yeah. like, I don't know, cuz. You're like, this is what I do. Yeah. You just went, it is what it is. It is what it is. I just said I like black and whites. Plain and sip. And then uh, my girlfriend on Girl Code, which was a show on MTV at the time, broke huge up with show me. On MTV. Yeah, huge show on MTV. Huge show on MTV. You were on it. I was on. Yeah, but not. Not. But nobody got really heat off that besides the girls. Yeah, I mean, I they, get they thought you were Andrew Schultz. Yeah, you, they thought you guys, it was Andrew Schultz. Yeah. You two guys, they just didn't know which one was which for a while. Yeah, basically, what it is is here's here's what it is. 
Guy Code was on MTV too, and that was a good episode. That was good, uh, but uh, uh, you know, for the guys. But it was on MTV too at like three o'clock in the morning on Wednesdays, where Girl Code was on actual MTV. Like the president's daughter, Obama's daughter, used to watch Girl Code. Yeah, like that's how big of the show that was. Yeah, and um, so in around July of 2013. So I got offered, uh, there was a new network called Fusion that was owned by ABC and Univision right. that was launching in Miami. This will never happen again because it was like a major network launching. So I got offered to, um, to go out for, uh, uh, you, know, uh, uh, you know, to audition to be on one of the shows on there. And I turned them down. Yeah. I turned them down because I was living in New York. I had a girlfriend. I had two dogs. had a whole life. And I was like, nah, I'm not going to move to Miami and, you know, do the, the whole thing. But Girl Code was taken off. Uh, me and my girlfriend broke up. She broke up with me, right? I didn't want to break up with her at the time. And um, I went to Edinburgh Film, uh, the Edinburgh Festival where it officially ended. I was real depressed. And then I called back up the CEO of Fusion. I was like, yo, about that job I turned down. Because <laughs> I wanted to get out of fucking Dodge. Yeah. So yeah. I went to Miami and uh, had you know, a show. You got, you got banged up hard. Yeah, I got banged up hard. And I remember. I was hurt. Bad. And I remember. Here's what I remember about that. I remember you going through it. Yeah. And, and like, my girlfriend, you know, because cause your ex, you know, at the time, because you had just got dumped, would come to my house and talk to my girlfriend about it. And I remember feeling like, and I would hear from the girl's side and about how devastated you were. And I'd be like, oh, man, that sucks. But deep in my heart, I knew I was going to get dumped <laughs> pretty soon. I was like, I'm next. Bad. You felt it coming? I, felt, I knew it was coming. Yeah. But I kept... Here's how bad, because I knew it was coming, but I would suppress a lot, and yeah. I would make believe it wasn't happening, because when I actually did got dumped, yeah. I remember talking to my friend Mike Cannon and even you, yeah. and being like, I can't believe I got dumped, and they and Mike Cannon was the one, he was like, dude, every day you would tell me, when I would say how your relationship was going, you would say, I'm just waiting to get dumped, Yeah. and yeah. now you can't believe it? Yeah, because those girls got really hot, they got they a, got hot like quick, lightning yeah. in a bottle, Yeah. and you, they didn't want to be tied down. Yeah, so you, yeah. Got, so you got decimated first. I got decimated. Which, and, yeah. And then I moved to Miami, and then we used to talk on the and phone. And then you ran through some puss. Ran through some puss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, my, my fiance listens to this, but yeah, it was before yeah, her. I mean, I mean, you know, she, yeah, but your fiance, it is what it is. That's, that's why she's going to be fiance. She's in, she understands. Yeah, she gets She it. understands. I mean, some, you know, you go through a breakup, some girls got to get the construction boot. Yeah, I was living high in the high, I got there, good pay, big fish in small pond, had a two-floor apartment. Lost some LBs. Oh, I looked, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you could put, there's probably some Miami Giannis photos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Check yeah. go to my Instagram, go, Miami Giannis, yeah. You just go, Miami Giannis or Fusion Giannis, yeah. Yeah, you a fucking sexy kid. Yeah. Yo, and Zach, I'm, you still spell my name wrong, cuz it's D-I-S-T-F, not D-S. Yeah, look at, the, look at that wow, kid. All the way to the left. left. Look at that one, Zach. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And then go to the one to the right. Go to the small thumb image to the right of that. This is, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, that's recent because I'm jacked. That's yeah, a little more recent. There. I think that was a stress factor. Go, now, go, now go to the one with his ex girlfriend. See all the way. This is fat Giannis. Yeah. There he is. <laughs> this, this is disgusting Giannis. Because I got six chins, legit. Yeah, see, but that's what I'm saying. Like when, you, when you're with the. I don't want to say she devil because that's wrong, but it's it was a tough time. We thought we were the happiest in our lives there, yeah. but looking back at the pictures, we were by far the saddest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it is what it is. And then you got dumped, and I, I got dumped. You I, and I was fat too. We can pull up some of me. Yeah, just put go, just just Google my name, and you'll see some of my fat pics. Yeah, just Google Chris Stefano, um, MTV, and then Google um, Google. Uh... Still good looking kid though. Yeah, but there's somewhere I'm real fat. Just put in maybe MTV. Put well, then you could go right there at the half hour because then we shot half hours together for Comedy Central. Probably. That half hour one, you're a little bloated. Yeah? Yeah. Let me see. Yeah, because that was 2014. Yeah. A little bloated yeah, there, yeah. Right? Oh, big bloated. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. And then go yeah. over to the right. Yeah. One more to the right. And the th this is what. Uh, one more. One more. Yeah, yeah, see that fat face, You're a and that's who I was with. That's what. Yeah, yeah. so for Saturday, yo, black and white cookies, Chrissy. Yeah, that was bad, cause yo, then I, I do I look that fat anymore? No. Cause you're no doubt, but like, am I? Do I kind of look still like that a little bit? Cause it's as plain as simp as plain as simp could be. Yeah, you're a fucking cute kid, like times a thousand. Yeah, I mean you, you, yeah, you got. I changed a lot. Yeah, since you got a strong fucking jawline. Yeah, but I'm still fucking two thirty. At least you're two hundred. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm under. I'm one ninety four. One ninety four. Yeah, but up there you were two twenty. I was two twenty five at my biggest. Yeah, it's just because the thing is you don't have TT stuff. Yeah, when I was with Jesse May, I was two twenty five. Yeah. I was a fat fucking kid. Fat fucking kid. Drinking a lot yeah. of beer, and you look like a woman. <laughs> 
woman. Because when you get fat, you look like a woman. Yeah. Bad. I look like a lesbo. Bad. Yeah, yeah. You look like you live in Portland. Yeah. But yo, I remember that phone call when you've called me and uh, yeah. you called You're me. a great friend, dude. You I really am, were a I'm great a good friend. friend. You are, you're still our good friend. Yeah. I helped you through that. Yeah, because I remember. Here's what happened. So I got dumped. I got decimated. I want to say about six months after you. So you kind of were through. Would you say you were through most of the pain by then? Most of the pain, but I was still decimated a little bit. Yeah, but yeah. you, but but what you had is you had a lot of experience. Yes. And, and, and you had been through it. You know, you had you had suffered hard. Because yeah. how old were you when it happened to you? 36, 30, uh, 35? Uh, no. Uh, 30. When you got hit. 30. 38. You were 38, 38 when you got hit. Yeah. So, you, so you were a little older to get hit, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it was the first time I really got... It was the first time that, like, had a whole life, you know, with dogs and all that. It was yeah. like, yeah. So I got hit. Yeah. You got yeah. hit hard. And I remember I had just gotten the news that I had got my Comedy Central half-hour special, and I was talking to Giannis, and then my manager called me, and he called me twice in a row, so I had to switch over. And it was my manager plus every all the executives at Comedy Central, and I was hysterical crying. <laughs> <laughs> on the phone with executives, and then they I think they questioned their decision. Yeah. <laughs> they were like, is he emotionally savvy enough to do this? Well, here's another thing that knew that this was destined to happen, was you told me you got the half hour, right. right? When you were telling me you got the half hour, while we were on the phone, my manager was beeping in. We got off the phone. I was like, I'm going to take this call. And then I found that I had to, got so the half got hour. Right the, in same, the same moments. Same moments we got the half hour. Yeah. And then we hung out in Boston when we got him. But take him back. Yeah. So then you and her had a show for a second. Yeah, yeah. We had a show greenlit on the air on MTV. Yeah. Greenlit. Yeah. This is 2013. Yeah. And I never forget this. It's 2013. I'm taking the train to Boston because I was starting this new show called Off the Bat. So I was on my way to Fenway Park, which was uh, uh, Off the Bat was an MTV2 show um that combined with major league baseball to try to make they tried to make baseball cool um by you know by 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 bringing some mtv comics in but then they wouldn't let me ask the questions about like you know banging hookers and shit they would just make me talk about their charity so it's like yeah. it was what it was <laughs> i knew the show wasn't going to work and they also put it on sundays at 11 o'clock in the morning it's like that's not when the cool kids are watching tv so sure. you did it to yourself but anyway um um so i'm on the train going up to boston and I get a text from, you know, who's soon to be my ex, who's Heather. I was like, uh-oh, spaghetti -o. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows who your ex is. Yeah, yeah. yeah so I was like, uh-oh, spaghetti -o. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I was like trying to deny, deny, deny. But, you know, she had downloaded some program or something like that where she was like, she was basically like made a carbon copy of my phone. Wow. Yeah, so she went to the lengths, you know. Yeah. Dad. Yeah, <laughs> you know, she got all. She saw all your texts, everything. So yeah. you know, whatever. I, I, at the time, I don't even. To be honest with you, yeah. At this point, I don't even know if I did fuck up or I didn't fuck up. Yeah. Like my home judgment of it is cloudy. Yeah. You know, I know one of the things she was accusing me of just wasn't true. Yeah. But other things, I'm like, maybe you had me. I don't know. Yeah. So. So anyway, I got dumped hard body karate. Yeah. I get dumped. And, I and called, you guys were living together the whole living night. Together. We and had a you show. had a show. We had a show greenlit on the fucking air, folks. It is so It already hard. started airing? It did not start airing. But it was shot. It was it was shot. They spent money on it? They spent money on you it. You shot a whole season or how much? We shot had shot two episodes already. Wow. So we were like contracts, whatever. Yeah. So my manager, you know, tried to do what he could, tried to salvage it, be like, oh, maybe we can turn this into like, you know, this will be classic MTV. Like maybe we turn it into like the drama. It's not a comedy anymore. And at that time, I just want to do anything to try to be next to her. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, it's trying to, yeah, because I was just all fucked up. Yeah. But thank God the show didn't go because if that show would have gotten on the air, yeah. I would never have been able to have been taken serious as a comedian <laughs> ever in my fucking life again because I would have had a fucking show on MTV, a yeah. reality show getting destroyed yeah. by a female comic. Yeah. 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 So, but Giannis it. really helped me out through that because he had went through it. And so we really started to bond then. And he, he would talk to me every single day. And he would yeah. just talk to me about like, and it's interesting because in the in that moment, Right when I was going through that, like I said, I thought it was the worst time in my life. And now, other than my daughter being born, because I got dumped in December of 2013, 
January of 2014, I went through it really fucking bad. I remember it was bitter cold. I was still on tour with her, so it's like I had to deal with all that shit. And you would talk to me so much. I used to have to. I used to pay for my friends to come out. I pay for my dad to come out. Yeah. I would have to wear fucking uh, headphones. And in the she green would rip you apart. Rip me apart before you got on stage. Yeah, and I would come out to booze. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So it's like Giannis was my fucking lifeline, absolute lifeline. I'm here for you, cuz. At the time, yeah, helped me out so much. And now when I look back, like I said, other than my my daughter being born, I realized like February and March of 2014, so like right after, you know, like pretty only two months after I got done, was like the best times of my life. I was like, I think back to those times, like I was having a good fucking time because you really talked me off the ledge. And you, I really only dealt with the pain for about three weeks. I fucking really sat in it, but then I started to see the light, and then I went on a fuck fest. <laughs> Gave myself chlamydia twice. <laughs> <laughs> True story. True story. Play Dick was burning. Yeah. yeah. And then I called you once. And then I called you like six months after. I was like, whoa, one got past the goalie. Yeah. Here comes my kid. And it was nice because we uh, we shot half hours at the same time. We, yeah. went, we hung out in Boston together. Yeah. Remember well, that? Yeah. We hung out with Debo and Patty Fly Balls. Yeah. Remember D and uh, Patty Fly Balls' brother, BC, Big Chest Daddy, ripped his shirt off. Yeah. And had his tits, McGitts fucking flopping around. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Rachel Feinstein says, still says one of them followed her into one the bathroom. One of them followed the bathroom, tried to assault. <laughs> Her. Yeah, we don't know which one it no, was. No, I didn't try to assault her, but, but was just so drunk, followed her to follow her to Yeah, bathroom. I mean, yeah. one of the Comedy Central execs got so hammered, she tore her ACL. Yeah. I mean, it was a fucking party and a half. <laughs> it was. Yeah, we had a great time. It was a good time. That was a good time. And I think back to 2014 as one of the best times of my life, and it's mostly because of you, cuz. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so then I moved back here. And yeah, because you were in Miami. I remember you were talking to me a lot. Even though I went through the stuff with Jesse, you were a little uh, lonely. Oh yeah, yeah I was you were in Miami. Big time. You kind of gave up spots for that. Yeah, yeah you weren't doing com. Not that you weren't doing. I was doing a road. I was doing a, a lot bit. of road. Yeah. yeah, and I would come back to New York once in a while. But I was living in Miami. I was doing a show in Miami. Yeah, I know. if that would happen, if that was going on right now, I would come to your house twice a month. Yeah, I would have flown down to Miami. But back then, I, I wasn't flying down to see you. But I should have. Yeah. How long did you live in Miami? One full year. One full calendar year. Full calendar. Three hundred and sixty-five days. Yes. Two thousand fifteen was it? Yeah. It was from uh, the end of August of two thousand and thirteen to the beginning of September two thousand fourteen. So when you did the half hour with me in Boston, you flew from Miami to Boston. Yeah. Well, I was actually. I remember I was on the road uh, that weekend in uh, at at Rick Bronson's Mall of America. I was wow. at uh, House of Comedy. So you went to House of Comedy went, right after the half no, hour? No, I went before. I went straight oh, I from see. there, from Minnesota. To Boston. To Boston. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, because. So and then I flew back down to Miami afterwards. Yeah. And now, and, and you know, and then throughout the years, we just got a little closer, a little closer. Yeah, then I came back. Yeah. And uh, you you had a couple pilots. Yeah, none of them went. I'm, I'm one and done. Either I get a show on the air and it's canceled after one season, or I just get the pilot and then they smash it. <laughs> But at that time, you had, I think you had a comedy, a few Comedy Central yeah, ones. Yeah, two Comedy Central pilots. Yeah, I had, I was doing a digital show, Two Point Lead. Yeah. We would hang, we would talk, we would hang out once in a while. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. And then I, uh, I bought a house in the Ridge. In Bay Ridge. In 2015, yep. August. And uh, and then you moved to Bay Ridge right after uh, that. I moved, I moved to Bay Ridge like two months later. Yeah. And then in, I would say in like mid-2016, we were just walking through the neighborhood Bay Ridge, and I was like, we should make a show the Bay Ridge Boys. Yeah. Well, we should just fucking make a show. Yeah, it wasn't 2016. I think it was 2017. I think it was 17. It was last year. But no, but, but, yeah. no, but, no, because I think we said that we were going to do it, but we didn't put the ball into motion for a while. You're right. Yeah. So I, I thought it might have been 2016. Could have been. Could have been yeah. 2016. Because the first episode ever aired. September 2017 of yeah. Bay Ridge Boys, yeah. which you can see on BayRidgeBoys.net. You can yeah. check, catch every video. It's called Balls Taps. Ball ta every Yeah, Ball Taps was the num first one. Yeah, talking yeah. about uh, smacking the balls of new new Hipster New Yorkers. Kids. Yeah, new New Yorkers to the neighborhood. Yeah. We're going to take you to our, our uh, History Hyena Animal Video yeah. of the Day. Yeah. This is a good one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this one has actually kept me up at night. Yeah. Now, this one, I'm, I bet you a lot of people have seen this one, because this one is fucking brutal. Now, chimpanzees are our closest relative, for yeah. sure. Yeah. We share something like 99 point something percent of the same DNA, okay. right? Um, chimpanzees, for the most part, for the most part, vegetarians. Veggies. But once in a while, they get fucking human-like brutal. And this is a video of chimpanzees fucking eating one of their own. Jesus Christ. Disgusting. Yeah. 
Uh -oh. These calls announce the start of a raid into land controlled by their neighbors. Yeah, they get a little territorial. This is yeah. like if kids were coming from Bensoners to try to take over Bay Ridge. Bay Ridge. As they leave their core zone, yeah, this is like the patrol a little bit. I mean, look at their fucking occasionally balls. stopping yeah. to listen. Yo, it's an invading army of chimps. Signs of the enemy are detected and examined closely. Wow, it's about to fucking go down. Planet yeah. of the Apes style. Yeah. So you got one. Oh, they're smelling. Yo, they're so human-like. Yeah. Look at them. They're like smelling the trail. Trying to see like the chimp militia are now at the very edge of their territory. Wow! So they're they're going into all need to be on maximum alert. Yeah, they're going to a rival fucking chimp. Yeah. What do they call them? Clans or whatever family? They must wait and listen. Holy shit! These guys are up to no good. Yeah, they're up to no good. Something bad's about that. I mean, oh, that look one at that one guy's eye. Holy shit! One chimp has n one eye. Yeah, if you're somebody who doesn't think we derive from chimps, you're a fucking idiot. They look exactly I mean, like we us. We are of clear de derivatives of them. Look at their ears and nose and mouth. I An mean, unfamiliar chimp call you're probably fucking raises attention. Get a attention. blowjob from a chimp. Huh? Nice An lift. Get a blowjob from a chimp. <laughs> the size of the rival group is <laughs> a lot of gums. Down. Yeah. Yo, look at when they beach. stand up like that. Look I mean, at that. It looks like humans. Now, Not far away, the neighbors are feeding in a fig tree. Yeah, these guys oblivious look oblivious to the approaching dangers. These guys don't look as uh, rough and rowdy as the other guys. The patrol moves off. Fuck. With a sense of purpose. Yeah, they're gonna get fucked up. Y'all get nervous. Until they close right in. It's about to get fucking bad. They move like, truly move like an army. Yeah. Like they tr truly, they're in formation right now. Yeah. God, there's a lot of them too. Would they hurt us if we were there? Oh shit! The attack is on. Oh shit! To intimidate their opponents, the aggressors scream and drum on buttress roots. Yeah, this is brutal. Fuck. Yeah, Y'all, it's just a plain on fight. They're chasing them up the trees. Oh, shit! They're gonna catch one. Several males corner an enemy female. Oh, it's a God. ferocious attack, oh. and she's lucky to escape with she's her life. Oh, she's got it. Oh, go, go, go. <laughs> Yo, this is hard to watch. Yo, nature is fucking brutes, my goats. Oh, oh, one just fell from the tree about oh, 40 feet. Yeah, they're gonna get him. Others are not so fortunate. Oh, God. Yeah, wait, he gets wild. The battle won, a grisly scene that, unfolds. Holy shit. They ripped its face off. They're eating its face. An enemy youngster has been caught See that? and killed. Oh, my God. The carcass is shared between members See of that? the group. See that? That's its head. Holy and face. Holy shit. Oh my god. They're eating a fucking. Killing a competitor makes sense if you want to protect your food supply. But that's not this. No, they, that but was. But exactly its face. why it's they cannibalize too, the dead face. chimp is not fully understood. Nah, they just do it to fucking eat it meat. It may simply protein, be a chance right? for some is that extra gross or what? protein. Yeah, that, holy shit. Just, yeah, so that's, re that's oh. real life, folks. That's nature, okay? <laughs> So that's what it is. It's not, you know, it's not, you, you know, nature has a way of weeding things out. Okay. Yeah. So it's like, that's what really goes on. Yeah. You want to be fucking upset about something? Be upset about that. There's plenty of things to co complain about for sure. But you know, you never hear people just appreciating. It's how people always complain. It's like, just be appreciative that there's not a rival clan. Is that what you call them? Of chimps? Community. They're community. Oh, they're community. Well, that, that, that's not a nice community right there. Community. Yo, well, one of them was eating like figs and shit in the other community. Like their eyes were gone and shit. Yeah, that was a bad community. Yeah, that was a, yo, they lived in a bad neighborhood, those yeah. chimps. Because they came over there. Those other chimps were eating berries in the trees. And the ones that were coming over were up to no good. And they, they cornered one and then they ate him. Fucking Disgusting. brutal. And chimps don't usually do that just once in a blue moon. Yeah. They, they turn dark. They turn dark. Wow. Yeah, cuz so that's kind of what it is. Um, that was our nature video of the week. And now it's time to read aloud the new members of the matriarch. Congratulations, you guys. Um, 
have decided to go to patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys and um, join our hyena clan and be part of the matriarch, and we appreciate that. And uh, I would give you the, the we give you the uh, PPS pseudo penis salute. <laughs> <laughs> Pseudo penis salute. Okay, so number one, we got an Italian kid right here, Robbie D'Angelo. Yo, Robbie D'Angelo, how you doing? You got spaghetti Sunday. Yeah, and then the next one we have another might be an Italian kid or a Spanish kid, Adero, A D E R O. Adero, uh, that could go either way. Either way, yeah. Borrow trash. Borrow trash. Welcome to the trash can. Absolutely. Um, this next guy was actually. Um, this next guy was actually the, let me see, hold on, let me do the math in my head, uh, huh, and then, uh, oh, this guy, he was actually the 42nd president of the United States, it's Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton Bill joined? Clinton has joined our, our Patreon page. Wow, yeah. yeah. So he's we got, got a Bill lot, Clinton. Yeah, a lot of downtime now. Yeah. Yeah, that could be the actual Bill fucking Clinton. Yeah, it's Bill Clinton. He could be a fan. Bill Clinton is uh, joined Patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys. Then we, here, now we, got an, now we got an Irish. Yeah. We got an Irish woman over here. Maddie Murphy. Maddie Murphy, how are you? How are you? Yeah, oh. go on to the bar later. Oh, wow. Now we got a senor, Hector LeBron Jr. Whippa, whippa. And then this one is could be now this this next lady, she could be um she could be a wasp, mm-hmm. uh she could be um an African American, uh huh she could be a white girl from Syosset, uh uh-huh. she could be anybody. Her name is Laura Desmond. Laura Desmond. Yeah, it could be anything. Laura Desmond. She sounds like a that sounds like, that's a school teacher's name. Yeah, Miss Des. I'm sorry, Miss Desmond. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Ms. Desmond. And that's it. And those are those are those are our Patreon members for the week. So thank you so much for your support, for being loyal fucking wild hyenas. Um, we love you all. And uh yeah. And uh just a shout out, Max Ostrowski. We gave him we gave him a little shit because we thought that he was he was uh he was quitting and then rejoining and rejoining. What did he say though? But you know what he did? What? He upped his pledge. Yeah. I think that kid's all the way up into the twenties. Thank you, Max Attack. Yo, we appreciate it. You're a fucking true blue pseudo penis of the week for yeah, that. Yeah, you're a PPS. We give you the pseudo penis salute. Hello, hello, hello. hello. <laughs> Um, and if you want to check out uh, any of our stand-up dates, um, you can go to christycomedy.com. I got dates coming up and what giannispappas.net. Giannispappas.net. Follow us on Twitter and definitely follow the Bay Ridge Boys Instagram page. It is fucking going wild. Wow. Take a picture of yourselves drinking smoothies so you, get, you can win a chance to be our cutie with smoothie of the week, which is our... C-W-S-O-W. You are fucking Chris yes. Despectra. C-Swall. And our, our Patreon only... Only episode this week is going to be a quick little talk and chat about the history of Detroit, Michigan. Yeah. Fucking wild. Peace out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs>